Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 27th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and that not every reading is for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest, and uh, yeah, so let's see what we got. We're going to start right here with one of these this time. We're just going to see what comes up. What kind of message do I need to deliver today? Oh, there it is. Seven of coins. Seven of coins. Thinking. We got somebody here that is thinking. They're thinking about their next move thinking about whether they want to accept the offer or not. Somebody has received an offer or they've received an invite or something like that. They have an opportunity. Uh, maybe it could be to sell something. It could be to transfer goods or to uh, something. There's some sort of opportunity here. Okay, it looks like there could be an exchange but we have somebody thinking whether it's worth it or not. Is it worth it? Should I do this or not? So we got somebody that here that is going to be thinking, should I ex accept this offer or not? <laughs> so there's an offer coming. There could be, it could uh, bring in some money. It could bring in some money. Doesn't have to be money though, but it could. It could bring in some sort of profit. But you'll have to get rid of something by the looks of things. Is it worth it? Is it a good offer? The moon reversed. Now the moon reversed is seeing the truth. Receiving clarity. Clarity will come. There's some sort of mental imbalance here with the moon reverse. Could be dealing with Pisces or Cancer. Doesn't have to be. But this, this is an energy of confusion. This is not very intuitive. We may have somebody here that isn't very intuitive they don't they don't see things clearly okay this person is not very intuitive they have some sort of uh, well they're thinking about something <laughs> thinking hard by the looks of things and this has been try somebody's been trying to hide They've been trying to hide something, but they can't hide it. So this is a reality check. So somebody, I believe, has received a reality check. Now they have to make a choice, okay? They have to make some sort of choice in regards to what they've heard. Probably some truth has come out, and they may not like the truth. They may not like what they heard. Maybe it was buried below the surface for so long. Now they've heard something. They're really thinking hard about it. That's what I think this is. They're thinking hard about what they've heard, which is interesting. And I feel like they're trying to... This is self-deception. Somebody is deceiving themselves. But the seed was planted because the Seven of Coins is about seeds being planted. Somebody planted a seed that opened up this person's thoughts, okay? And now they're, it's like they see, they don't want to see, but they're forced to see. So somebody is forced to see the truth of a situation. Now they may be thinking about relocating because it's, to me, the Seven of Coins is about relocation. Perhaps it's time to go someplace else. Maybe it's time to accept reality. Maybe it's time to be honest and stop hiding the truth. Somebody, and this could be somebody that has some sort of addictions, a codependency of some sort.
feels like there's been some truth that has been revealed. Ah ha ha, the high priestess reversed. Definitely we have an individual here that is not very intuitive. Doesn't really, would like to just bury their feelings, doesn't like to express their feelings, likes to keep them inside. There is definitely something being revealed, okay? This is a revelation. It really is. This is this is truths or secrets or this is the truth being revealed. End of story. It is. It could maybe by a tarot reader. Maybe by a tarot reader or a, uh, a medium or a psychic or somebody that is is spiritual may have said something or or to somebody that isn't. Somebody is definitely lying to themselves. They're ignoring their gut. They're ignoring their intuition. They're hiding from the truth. Somebody's hiding from the truth. They don't want to acknowledge the truth. This is an individual who isn't very spiritual. They may pretend that they're spiritual. It's definitely fake. They're not spiritual. We we And I'm not trying to pinpoint anybody, but... We could be dealing with a Pisces. Both of these cards represent Pisces. Doesn't have to be though. This is somebody who will not listen to any advice. May be afraid of being single. Doesn't want to be single. Doesn't want to go their own way. Extremely fearful of that. Deep down inside, they are being told to do something and they're ignoring it. So we have somebody here that is being told a lot. And maybe even by another person as well. I feel like somebody has been being told, you gotta go. This season is over. You gotta stop lying. You gotta stop hiding from the truth. You gotta start listening to your intuition. We have somebody here that is definitely, definitely, definitely ignoring, ignoring. They're ignoring their intuition. They're ignoring their gut. They're not listening at all. And they're lying to themselves. This person is probably shallow. I think we have a shallow individual here, you know. And ha this per whoever, whoever this person is, they've been able to hide and bury their feelings for a long time. But now something has happened. I believe something has happened where they've received some sort of reality check. And they're really thinking about the truth. Okay? It's like they've been poked. <laughs> okay? So we have three universe cards here. Okay? We do. We have three majors. So the universe is trying to get somebody to honor the truth. This is lack of truth as well. Okay. Truth, re truth revealed. Truth revealed. Truth revealed. The title of this reading is going to be Truth Revealed. Because the first three cards. And this is thinking about the truth that has been revealed. This is karma. Somebody is receiving karma for not listening to their gut. And for not doing the right thing. For not acting with integrity. Somebody that does not listen to any advice. We have somebody that has made a bad choice. And they have been refusing to move on from the bad choice. This is, this is, this is uh, maybe being ashamed. This is somebody that is not answering the higher call. They're not answering the call. They're not. They're not because they can't listen. They re refuse to listen. This is a sad life. This is like no chance. We have somebody here that will not accept will not accept reality. Well, they're going to be accepting reality because the truth has come out or it's going to come out or it, it, something like that. Okay? There, somebody's health could be declining because they're lying to themselves. 
They could they could be going through a karmic situation right now where their life sucks because they're not listening to themselves. They may be suffering financially because they're not listening to their gut because they're ignoring the truth. We have ignoring the truth in these three cards. Wake up. This is lack of awakening. I refuse to wake up. Truly. Wake up. This is not waking up. We have somebody here not very spiritual at all. Not at all. Knight of Wands reversed. Now the Knight of Wands reversed is somebody that is a show off. This person is overly competitive, forceful, has a bad reputation, is constantly on the move, always looking for somebody else. Really doesn't want responsibility, probably lies a lot. This is like a person that has a chip on their shoulder. The Knight of Wands reverse. This is reckless behavior. This is, it feels like we have an individual here that doesn't think. They don't think before they act. They have, they have this passionate desire. You know, maybe they have some sort of desires that need to be met. They don't think before they act. They do stupid things. Then, you know, they get found guilty for doing those stupid things. That could certainly be the case. Anyway, the Knight of Wands in reverse is an individual that doesn't think before they act and they get themselves in trouble because, because of that. This is poor judgment. Somebody's making a poor judgment call. And they're, and, and they're, they're definitely not thinking. They're, well, they're, they're going to be thinking because they're going to be. They're going to be thinking about the consequences because this is consequences there's going to be some consequences for not honoring the truth okay being found guilty in some way so somebody has been lying they're going to be found guilty or or they are guilty they haven't been honoring the truth they've been lying really well they this is somebody that is very skilled at at uh, burying the truth they've been doing it their whole life put it that way Anyhow, karma is here because this is karma and it ain't good karma. This Knight of Wands is reckless behavior. It really is. Um, Hierophant, we had this one yesterday. The Hierophant is about faith and trust and a higher power, a counselor. Uh, this could be a medium. This could be a medium. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spiritual teacher. Um, somebody that has access to God. Maybe giving some advice to this individual. This could be, this could be, uh, this is somebody that is in a position of authority. Um, this could be a doctor. It could be a doctor. It could be a counselor. It could be a, a priest. Somebody that is very knowledgeable in whatever they do. This is somebody that is a healer. Okay, so it could be a doctor. We could have a healer here that is giving somebody some advice. They need to slow down. Okay, they need to slow down. They need to accept adv advice. They need some sort of help. So we got somebody here that needs help to recover from some sort of, it looks like it's an addiction. Okay, I'm not sure if it's an addiction, but it's some sort of self-deception. Okay, there's, there's a poor judgment call. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. They didn't see clearly, but now they are going to see clearly because it feels like the truth is, is, is here. It's, it's, it's on the surface. It's no, it's here. It's, it's no longer hidden. The truth is here. It's easy to see. It's clear. It's very clear. It's clear that somebody made a poor judgment call and help is needed. I feel like there's going to be a relocation. Somebody is going to be offered to go someplace, to relocate, to move.
be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, the Pisces, when this is a Taurus, doesn't have to be. Um, whoever this person is, they are in a position of authority. They are very knowledgeable. This person is a healer of some sort, has some sort of guidance or advice to give, is giving the advice. But we have somebody here that is very childish, very immature, definitely doesn't want to listen, okay? Um, this is an individual that um, may have some mental health issues. We could have somebody here that um, doesn't want to accept the truth, light doesn't, doesn't care about their behavior. This is somebody that is a liar, that plays mind games, that is aggressive, that... Uh, may even abuse people psychologically. You know, this could this is an individual that is immature and is unwilling to listen, is unwilling to accept. This is lack of acceptance. Accept that this reality. Okay, so we have somebody here that needs to accept reality. They have been unwilling to accept reality. I think there's difficulty, there's, it's hard to communicate with this person because this person has such a big chip on their shoulder. There could be an unexpected conflict here with these two cards. You may have a manipulator, this person could be very manipulative. The Fool. We have a new start here. Somebody is being offered an opportunity to break free from this illusion. Okay, they're being offered the opportunity to uh, step into new territory, to go someplace else. Okay, they are. But they're going to have to accept reality. They're going to have to accept the help or accept the advice and listen to the advice. And that's the biggest problem here. But, anybody, but anyway, we do have somebody that's being given an opportunity or they've been told that, you know, you need to go. You need to leave this behind. You need to... Uh, start from zero again. You need to start over. You need to uh, leave all that behind and go down another path. It's time for you to go. Somebody is being told that it's time to go. We have a new beginning here. We do. We have an opportunity for a new beginning. A fresh new start. But we have an individual who is really hard to deal with. This person that ha is getting the opportunity is uh, maybe angry. They probably are angry. Maybe they're angry about their childhood. Maybe something to do with their father. Um, this person... Uh, doesn't want to acknowledge their feelings. They'd rather just bury them. The pain of acknowledging the feelings uh, from the past is too much. So that's why they've buried them. And it's better to just be angry than to deal with the feelings, you know, to deal with whatever happened. It's Somebody is just like wearing their anger. They're, and their anger is affecting their life in a negative way. And, they, and the only way to heal from that situation is to accept help, you know, to accept it, to accept the truth and not, you have to accept the truth. So anyway, we have somebody here that's refusing to have accept the truth, but the truth has probably been told to them or they now see the truth or something. I feel like the truth has been told to them by somebody and it's a, it's a wake up call. It's a wake up call that somebody did not want to hear. Okay. I don't want to hear that shit. Well, too bad. Anyhow, um, somebody's going to be questioned or they have been questioned, you know, and I think those questions may make somebody angry. Why are you questioning me? 
because we're going to get to the bottom of this. We need to get to the bottom of this. You need to heal. You're not happy. Your life is in shambles. It's going backwards. You have to deal with, with, with the past. You have to deal with the karma from the past. Okay, you haven't released it yet. So anyway, somebody has to do that. There's definitely an opportunity for a new beginning here, but you have to leave behind the past karma. And you can't leave behind the past karma if you don't deal with it. There's lack of forgiveness here. There's no apologies. If you can't apologize to the people that you hurt, then, well, you haven't dealt with your karma. Especially if you keep repeating the same patterns over and over and over again. Anyhow, there is depth, and that's what we got here. We got somebody who keeps repeating the same karmic lesson over and over and over again. It goes all the way back to their childhood. Something to do with a father. Anyhow. Um, this is a new beginning. We have an opportunity for a new beginning, but it's going to take faith. It's going to take faith and it's going to take trust in the advice that was received. Somebody is receiving some sort of offer or advice, you know, and the advice is you've got to go. You have to go. You have to. Are you going to hide from the truth and repeat this karma and continue to struggle? Or are you going to accept the truth? This is, this is not good news. This is a message that you don't want to hear. Somebody has received or they are going to receive a message that they don't want to hear. And it's from somebody that is a healer of some sort. This person is a healer in some sense, okay? You need to stop doing what you're doing. You have to break that cycle. Anyhow, let's keep going. Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, Queen of Pentacles, she is very sensible. She's very sensible. She's very smart. She's very stable. She has a golden opportunity. There's the opportunity. So the Queen of Pentacles is somebody that is very abundant, that is a hard worker. This could this this person is very grounded, very real. Very real. Okay? She's that's that's real. Queen of Pentacles is real. That's the reality. She's giving the reality check. So the Queen of Pentacles has a has the the real. She's the real deal. Put it that way. Um, she has. She's holding on to something. That Queen of Pentacles is holding on to some. She's holding on to her stability. She's holding on to um, her money. She's very abundant. This Queen of Pentacles has stability. She has the offer. This Queen of Pentacles is making the offer to somebody or she is the one that has given the reality check. It's a, it looks to me, whoever this person is, this person is very solid, very real. Doesn't do fake. She's giving the, uh, right here, she's giving the, I, I could be the advice, whatever it is, it could be solid advice. Whatever it is, she's giving something. Giving somebody an opportunity to be honest. To be truthful. But whoever it is, is having a very hard time doing so. This person can't even communicate. They can't. They can't communicate because they can't. 
there's so many lies, 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 lies that lies. I'm telling you what, there's so many lies here that whoever she's questioning, because this is questioning, this person can't communicate because they, they can't get their lies straight. They've lied so much their whole life. Anyhow, so there, this is like some this Queen of Pentacles may be the one that is breaking free. Somebody is breaking free. They're leaving this situation behind. She's the one with the information. I believe she, even though it's a pentacle, I feel like she's the one with the, with the, with the information. It feels like she's the one that is saying, you know what? Are you going to be real or what? Ace of Cups reverse. This is, this is sad. It is very sad. This is, this is, uh. I don't know. There could be some tears that are shed. This is sad. This is not happy. This is emotional shutdown. It is. Somebody may even say, you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to deal with this. I'm not in love with you. You know, somebody may be saying that. I don't, I don't love you. I don't, I can't, I can't be, you know, that's not love. Those words could come up. That's not love. The Ace of Cups reversed. I mean, hey. Somebody could be shutting down emotionally because whoever they're dealing with will not communicate. There's definitely lack of communication here. There's and, and when this person, it feels like when this person does communicate, they lie. So I feel like we have this Queen of Pentacles that, is, and I, like I said, she's holding on. Maybe she's holding on to her own. You know, maybe she's she's holding on to her own. She's holding on to her stability. She has money or whatever. She has an opportunity to move. And it may not be her. She may be giving somebody else an ultimatum. You got to fucking move. You know, I don't know if it's her or if it, and you got to take what resonates and leave the rest. We also have a profession. I feel like this hair hair font is a professional of some sort, whether it's a healer or a doctor or lawyer or whatever it is. I feel like there's somebody else that could be making it, could be a judge. Somebody could be making a decision. We could definitely be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person may be, and it doesn't have to be, could be anybody. This is somebody that is emotionally withdrawn. And is very, very secretive and doesn't have good intentions, but doesn't want to be alone. This person doesn't communicate well, is closed off, and sees themselves as a victim. So we have somebody here with a victim mentality that probably has some sort of addictions that are hindering them from making uh, the right moves, put it that way. Whoever this person is, is getting some karma right now. And it's past life karma. It's from your past. It could go all the way back to your childhood. From how they've treated people over and over and over and over and over again. There's karma here. Maybe they're dealing with somebody that is saying, you know what? Karma's a bitch. I mean, that's not what the person is saying. But I feel like I don't love you. And that's the karma. Because they didn't love the last person they were with, but they used them. So I really feel like somebody could be hearing those words. Okay, I hate to say that. Those are nasty words. I've heard them. They're nasty. Anyhow, I'm just saying that Ace of Cups reverse. That's emotional shutdown. That's emotional blockage. That's... Uh, with whoever they're dealing with. So whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, this Queen of Pentacles is stable. She's solid. She's a hard worker. She's very capable of taking care of herself. And that could, it, it, him or herself. But, so it's like, you know, I, I want something real. I want real love. I don't, I don't, I don't want to deal with somebody who can't communicate. That can't accept the truth. That wants to hide their feelings below the surface. That is very secretive. That is very sneaky. We have a lot of sneaky behavior right here. And I feel like I feel like uh, now maybe this Queen of Pentacles has received an offer, you know, or has something has opened up. There's an opportunity to move. Could be. I don't know. Um, maybe this person is thinking about moving because whoever they're dealing with, maybe they know. 
somebody is being guided to uh, go someplace else. Um, there could be an ending. Okay, things could happen fast. The camera ended, so and I didn't know. So whenever that happens, there could be a sudden ending. You know, something suddenly ends. It ends pretty fast. You know, um, something could end very, very fast, and it happens. For, it happens just like that. Just like that. Somebody just decides. You know, it's time to go. It's time to go. Okay, uh, this isn't love. It's time for me to go someplace else. Um, this is a spur of the moment, the fool, a spur of the moment decision. I do believe that there is a spur of the moment decision being made. Um, could have something to do with a mother, could have something to do with a father. Um, mother, father, child, okay? This could also be, um, like I said, a healer, a healer of some sort, a doctor, a priest, uh, a medium, a channeler, somebody that has access to God. Um, that person could be um, making a decision for this individual that can't, is very shallow. This person is shallow. They cannot see the truth. They refuse to see the truth. So if somebody is making a decision for an individual that refuses to uh, except and it's out of fear this person that won't accept is very very fearful a lot of fear extremely fearful and this person's fear is causing a lot of poor health it's, it's making their health decline you know it's causing health problems because you know, stress kills. When you don't listen to your subconscious, you know, and you, and you do. I mean, you you know what you got to do deep down inside. You do. But you can you can choose to, to honor your own truth or you can choose to ignore it. We got somebody here been ignoring it like crazy. They just choose to pretend. They choose to pretend. They choose to pretend. They, you know, they want to pretend that everything is happy. Everything is not happy. It's not good. It's not healthy. Communication is key. We have an individual here that cannot communicate. They do not communicate. Very closed off. Seems to always have like a scowl on their face. Or looks distant. Constantly thinking that whoever this person is just think, 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 think all the time. And they're think, think, thinking all the time because deep down their gut, their gut is saying, honor your truth, honor your truth, honor your truth, honor your truth. And they, and they just, they're trying to push it away and they're trying to push it away. And it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger because the Hierophant is the, it's a higher power, which is a godly energy is, is making it stronger. So it's, it's like, it's like there's paranoia here. It's reached the point of paranoia because the thoughts won't stop. Because they're in a situation, somebody is in some sort of situation that doesn't honor their truth. So, we could be getting a message. This is bad news, okay? Somebody is going to be getting some bad news. Or they're going to be getting a message that they don't want to hear. Could be from a Taurus. It doesn't have to be. It could be from anybody. They're going to be getting a message they don't want to hear. It does have to do with somebody leaving everything behind. Good luck.